Mardeka! 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 Well, many people will think that a city-bred girl will not live comfortably in rural Alosta. But uh, uh, it's a matter of adapt, you know, adapting yourself. And uh, there was no difference, actually. <clears throat> I enjoyed my stay in uh, the whole of our stay in Alosta. I really enjoyed myself. Except for the beginning, I have to have an interpreter because I, I didn't understand what they were saying in the Kata dialect. There was the only problem with me at the beginning. But after that, it was not uh, uh, no problem for me. And, and instead, I, I put myself, I really got myself involved in the, in the medical services, in the hospital itself. There, I learned more than I could give them. She even rode on the back of a motorcycle yes. of the Pungulu. Pungulu. On, on the narrow bands uh, in the petty fields. That's 56, 57. <laughs> of course. Raya that year was uh, as usual. It did not coincide. Like this year, it is going, going to coincide with uh, Medeka. Raya, uh, normally we, we stay at home and uh, we receive some, some friends. And uh, of course, we enjoy the usual raya cakes and all that. Normally, at that time, uh, for the second day of raya, we would travel uh, to KL because we want to celebrate uh, with my in-laws. And we would stay here uh, a few days. Uh, that's, uh, that's about all for raya. And of course, uh, in those days, there was no mess exodus from Kuala Lumpur because not many people from outside were living in Kuala Lumpur at that time. Uh, that only happened after Mateka actually. For me, it's birth of my daughter, <laughs> of our daughter. Before, before, before Mateka. She was, to me, uh, I was, all I remember is I was pushing the frame with Marina inside the frame. <laughs> And uh, thinking about uh, the people celebrating in uh, Kuala Lumpur and Alostar, as I said, was uh, uh, quite well lighted up and they repainted all the government buildings. So there is some, some change uh, that we notice, but at the ground level, there is no change. At all. There was only really mild excitement over Madeka. Of course, uh, it, this is something, a change that is going to happen above. Uh, the ordinary man in the street is not going to feel any change. We did not expect change after, after Merdeka, excepting that instead of having the British, we have our own people there. But even then, the government, of course, detained many British officers. The medical officer uh, in my, the surgeon who was uh, <clears throat> working in the hospital with me, he, he was still the surgeon. He <clears throat> continued to be the surgeon for some time because we had no Malaysian uh, to take over his place. So uh, the, it is not something that people fire crackers or things like that. No, it was very quiet as we uh, gradually approached Madeka Day and uh, again no TV 
So we just uh, listened to the radio about what was happening in uh, KL and uh, other towns. Of course, they don't they don't broadcast. Only Penang has got a broadcasting station, but uh, Alostar, of course, had no broadcasting at all. So there is uh, is almost an anticlimax because after the hard fight against the Malay Union and and the struggle towards uh, independence, independence itself did did not we did not expect to change our life in in any way. The expectation was not much, you know, except that we know. Uh, we have uh, apa nama tebus maruah we have apa redeem our honor well uh, <laughs> at that time we we feel that we are going to rule our country that's all and this involve people at the top not not us selamat, selamat hari, hari raya, raya. aidil fitri maaf zahir dan batin Merdeka! 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 Merdeka!